Hello, Life Groups. We are so thankful that you are joining us for the churchwide campaign, and we are really excited to see how the Lord uses this study in our lives. So for those of you who are new to Life Groups here at Summit Church, we really have two simple goals for this group. Number one, to grow closer to God, and number two, to grow closer to each other. We want everyone in our church family to strengthen their faith and become more like Christ. And we believe that that happens best in community. So each group might have their own unique personality, but we hope they all have three, three basic parts. First, a time of fellowship, a chance to get to know one another on a deeper level. Second, a, a Bible-based study where we discover more about God through His Word. And finally, a time of prayer where we intentionally lift each other's burdens up before our Heavenly Father. Okay, so our fall campaign in 2020 is all about hope. Man, when we started this year, we did a, a series focusing on vision, remember that? And, and what mo God might do in the future. But I don't think any of us thought 2020 would be quite like this. But amid all the chaos and uncertainty, what this world and what each of us need more than anything else is hope. We will not make it without hope. And guys, we do not need a deluded, self-denial, wishy-washy kind of hope. We need rock-solid biblical hope. So if you're watching this video, you should have seen Sunday's message by now. And in that message, we studied how the writer of Hebrews, Hebrews calls hope an anchor for the soul. Oh, what a great metaphor. We are anchored in God's unchanging word and promise. Now, the anchor is a great metaphor of that hope. But did you know that the early church in the second century actually used anchors as a symbol of their Christian faith? The church of that time was very persecuted and was mostly in hiding, so they used coded symbols to communicate their faith in Jesus. The most famous of this, of course, you probably already know, is the fish. Not only because Jesus called his disciples to be fishers of men, but actually the Greek word for fish, ichthus, was used as an acronym for Jesus' divine nature. But another symbol found in Christian meeting sites and on Christian graves in the second century was the anchor. And this reminded people of the hope we have in God's word, the hope of Christ's return, and the hope of the resurrection. And also, if you look carefully, you'll notice anchors have a cross hidden within them, reminding the early church of the sacrifice of Jesus on that cross that provided a way for forgiveness and everlasting life. But here's the question we want to ponder for this Sunday, this study. If God's word is our anchor that keeps our ship afloat, what might get that vessel shipwrecked? And maybe you've seen this in a friend or a family member. Maybe you've seen it in your own life, that your faith at one point, it was strong and solid and unshaking, but somehow the storms of life pushed you back into sin or back into trusting in the wrong things or to just neglecting your faith. And as we're going to see in this study, two of the biggest culprits of shipwrecked faith are drift and doubt. Now, drift is maybe when we don't intentionally reject our faith, but little by little, step by step, we don't make it a priority until it's forgotten. Or maybe we just kind of slide down that slope of compromise. Doubt, on the other hand, is being, it's like being tossed about in the waves, like being caught in this terrible storm, and you're up, and you're down, and you're back and forth. And I'm telling you, fear and doubt have capsized many Christian families over the years. We here at Summit, we don't want to see even a single Christian family shipwreck their faith. So life groups, as you get into this study tonight, we pray the Lord would illuminate his word and bless your time together as we seek him as his church.